In this question, we are asked if a circle intersects another circle. Now, you could do this in a really complicated manner by using simultaneous equations. But remember, the question's not saying where does the circle cut. It's just asking if the circle cuts. So let me show you a few simple concepts you're going to need to know to approach a, um, a question like this. So let's say we've got two circles. Okay, so there's circle one and there's circle two. These two circles are not intersecting. Now, mathematically, what that means is the following. If you had to work out, or if you knew the center point of this, this circle here, let's say the center was 3 and 8, and this center was 7 and 12. What you could do is you could work out the distance between those two centers. And let's say that answer was 20. Okay, so that's the distance between those two points. You could then look at the radius of the circle on the left. And let's say that answer was 3. And then you could look at the radius of the circle on the right. And that answer could be 5. Then you would see that because the radii, when you add them together, that's 8. That is not enough to be able to overcome that distance over there. Okay, so the distance between the circles is greater than the length of the two radii. So the circles won't reach each other. Let me show you a different scenario. So here we have two circles that have intersected. So let's see how this would work mathematically. You would work out the distance between their two centers. And let's say that answer was 20 again. You could then work out the radius of the first circle. And let's say that answer was 12. And then you could work out the radius of the second circle which would be from there to there. And let's say that that answer was 15. So together, the two radii add up to 27, but the distance between the two circles is 20. So of course the two circles would reach each other because the distance between the centers is 20, but if you add the two radii together, you get 27. So the radii are long enough to be able to connect the two circles. So I hope that makes sense. So in summary, so here we have it. If the distance between the circle centers is larger than the sum of their radii, then they will not intersect. Number two, if the distance between the circle centers is smaller than the sum of their radii, then they will intersect. And if the distance, and this is a third one that I didn't show you guys, but if the distance between the circle centers is the same as the radii, then it looks like this. Then they will touch at exactly one point. So if you if you have the distance if you have their centers and the distance between those two is ten and this one's radius is three and this one's radius is seven, then they will ex they will just meet each other, but they won't they won't intersect like that. Okay, so let's try an example. So in this question, we've been given two circles, so we don't need to draw them out. We just need to know what their centers are. So this one, the first one center is 3 minus 4, and the other one center is minus 3 and minus 1. So we can use the distance formula to work out the length between them. So I'm going to start off with this as point 2. So that would look like 3 minus minus 3 plus minus 4 minus minus 1 and if you type all of that in on the calculator it gives us an answer of 6.71 so that is the distance between the two circle centers I now need to look at the radius of each one so this one's radius is 3 because remember that represents r squared and this radius is 2 so if you add their two radii together which is 3 plus 2 you get 5 so these two circles are not going to intersect because the distance between their centers is 6.71 but if you add this distance which is only 2 and you add this one's distance which is only 3, you can see that they will not add up to become more than 6.71. So they won't reach each other. Let's try another one. So the center of this circle over the first one is just going to be 0 minus 4. And the center of this circle is going to be minus 3 minus 1. So we can use the distance formula again. I'm going to use this as my first point. So that'll be 0 minus minus 3 plus 
it's minus 4 minus minus 1 and if you type all of that in on the calculator you should get an answer of 4.24 okay so that's the distance between the two circle centers then we know that the radius of this one is 3 and the radius of this one is 2 so 2 plus 3 is 5 so the two radii together they will be able to connect the two circles so what this situation looks like will be the following because the distance between them is 4.24 but if you add the radii together you get 5 and so the radii are long enough and so the two circles will intersect